Meta J is, she's just the artist. I started singing in churches when I was like three years old. Both of my parents were pastors. I started writing music actually around seven or eight years old. So uh, I feel like singing contemporary R&B and even acoustic genres are just an extension of gospel music in large part. Looking at your phone and you're getting turned on Even to the beat of the song Yeah, we thirst trapping At the crib all alone and you're getting turned on With my picture on your phone I'm grateful not just because of my spiritual premise but the fact that um, my foundation is strong and music is such an integral part of church you know like taking it away would be just the craziest thing in the world to me and it's so ingratiated in who I am as a person and as an artist that I, I so singing contemporary r and I mean like I grew up hearing love songs and songs about real life and situations that people go through and you know, like when you go to church, you see the pastor and you're like, why are you all up in my business, you know? <laughs> and it's the same way when you hear a great song because that song is speaking directly to you because it's talking to a part of you that the rest of the, your friends might not even know. But when you hear the right song, it connects to a piece of you, you know? And so that's that's why r and is so, it's such a big part of my life. But then uh, I do take pride in being able to sort of cross over beyond certain genres like you know for all intents and purposes i'm multiracial so being able to go beyond borders and beyond parameters um, i do that with music i don't know about tomorrow i just live from day to day and i don't buy from its sunshine for its skies may turn to gray well i've been singing forever i mean i literally was probably running around the house before i knew how to talk singing stuff uh, but i started playing the violin when i was five and then I started playing the viola and the cello, and then by the time I was nine, I was playing the alto saxophone. So I've always gravitated to music. Like I love, I loved how pure it was, even if there were no words with jazz or with classical, there was emotion attached to it. And so adding words was a really amazing component, but the music itself was so gripping that it's never released its hold, even now. And I mean, that's, yeah, that's why I continue to do music, because at this point, it's a part of my purpose. It's a part of who I am. And if I'm not, if I'm not doing music, I, I don't even think I'm living in destiny. I'm not even fulfilling purpose. I don't know what to feel, but I know that I'm ill. It ain't just my sex appeal, or even that I'm real. So if you don't know the deal, let me show you the drill. I ain't settled in for real, that's just the way I live. Better know that I'ma show up. All eyes on me, you ain't even gotta know what. Open your eyes and you'll see that I'm proud about it, no doubt about it. I'm satisfied and I'm not. Don't cry about it, I know I got it, ain't gotta hide it. I'm just so happy with it. See, I've never been more excited about a project. And I have over 100 and something records in my catalog. And putting this project together has been the birth of something great. Um, so the album is called See Through. And the whole premise behind it, like even the cover of the album is, I used to have green hair, I had it for like three years and I switched it up a little bit. I have a towel on my head and it's like getting out of the shower and I'm looking into the mirror because the album is about who I am as an artist, which relates to me as a person, and I'm doing something that people do every day. So it's not like this picture of some kind of deemed perfection or falsehood. It's just a person looking at the same thing they look at every single day and seeing beyond the mask. Like every artist, we have a representation, we have an image, and we have a style. But 
people want to get kind of to the bare bones and I think this album gets to the bare bones in a very relatable way though because the music is still commercial but it strips away almost the makeup and it shows who you are as an artist as a person and that's really what I want to connect with I love connecting with my fans in a very personal way so yeah something I'm giving up on you Anywhere I would have followed you mm -hmm. Honestly, the, I think the most difficult thing about being a woman in the music industry is being an artist and being a businesswoman. You have to do both. You're doing yourself and your career an injustice if you don't learn the business because, you know, it's a music industry, it's a record business. It's tough, you know, because you have to walk into a meeting and be charming and charismatic, and that's who you are. I mean, clearly I'm charming, but then you have to discuss things like publishing and splits and percentages and contracts. And ideally you would have a management team of people to do that stuff for you but you don't always have that luxury, you know, and until you find that right marriage of people, you gotta do it yourself, which means you gotta learn what you're doing. You have to know what to say, understand how things work. And so I think that's very tough when you don't get to exist in strictly a creative element, but when you're an entrepreneur and I'm working to be a mogul, you can't afford to just be one thing. So, you know, you never get to exist in like one place. You have to be so multidimensional that it, you hope that one doesn't take away from the other, you know? I mean, for me, definitely obvious, I mean, I guess the most obvious answers are being an award-winning, you know, recording artist. Uh, I'm already a published songwriter, but in the next five years, it will be my goal to certainly uh, have utilized my entrepreneur interest and in, um, creating organizations for aspiring young artists that want to pursue their dreams. Like I'm from what we call the hood, but to be able to reach back into that and say, you know, what is it you want to do? And actually have an attentive ear. Like I plan on creating facilities that do just that. Um, I'm a writer, not just a songwriter, but uh, actually, shout out to The Diary of a Songwriter uh, as a publication that I'm a part of that's coming out next year. And it's a testimony of several songwriters and experiences we've undergone in the music industry. So I know that, you know, at the goal is to have a best selling book under my, my belt and um, just kind of go around inspiring and empowering because that's really what I'm about. I love doing stuff like that. Uh, I do it through my music and I do it as a person.